So George Pickens, back in December, I made a video about this guy. Well, let's just say I wasn't a happy camper about him, to put it lightly. The way that he was uh, complaining that he wasn't getting the ball enough, the way that he was being a drama queen, the way that he was crying. And for a while, it seemed like that he was going to be just another distraction for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I kind of kept an eye on him while still just, you know, hoping the best for him. But I got to tell you, he seems to have matured for the better part and for the most part. And I'm not going to, in this video, I'm not going to, you know, address the elephant in the room with him right now. I'm going to talk about him strictly as a player in this video. What's going on, everybody? I'm Mac, back with another video. As always, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, follow on Instagram. Link is down in the box below. So I really believe George Pickens, I mean, this, could, this should be like a no-duh for Steeler fans and for NFL fans. But George Pickens absolutely has the intangibles and has the capability of being a number one receiver on this team. And I think he already is the best wide receiver on this team. So looking at it with his career from a contextual point of view and with how, you know, with the environment that he's been put in, he dealt with a lot of adversity early on. He had Matt Canada as his offensive coordinator. He's had just about as bad of a quarterback rotation as you can get with Kenny Pickett and Mitch Trubisky. And last year, a pretty shocking stat is that last year, he had seven games last year of three or fewer catches, and he was only targeted 10 times twice. That's pretty shocking right there. I mean, that just shows you that A, Matt Canada was just a horrendous offensive coordinator. And B, Matt Canada didn't know how to use George Pickens properly other than here, run this go route, run this straight line right here. And every single game Prior or aside from that, they were fewer than that. And yet he still finished last season with 106 catches and he was a 1,000 yard receiver. He had five total touchdowns. And it wasn't just him just having these miraculous catches like he did against the Cleveland Browns a couple years ago, where he made that unbelievable one handed catch against them on Thursday Night Football. But it was him going after the ball. It was him making plays. It was him getting defensive backs on the opposition off guard. And it was him using his physicality aspect as well. And then when Matt Canada got shown the door and he was given, I'm not going to say a real offensive coordinator, but a new one in Eddie Faulkner and Mike Sullivan, and then finally, when he saw that he had a real quarterback with Mason Rudolph, because there was no way the Steelers weren't going to start Mason Rudolph unless Kenny Pickett got hurt, or if Mitch Trubisky just kept on stinking up the joint, and both those things ended up being true. So once he finally got a real quarterback, everything started falling into place. And I do mean everything. His blocking was there. His, phys his physicality was there. He was running routes better. He had better route designs with slants, you know, stuff like that. Dare I say, the Steelers were getting creative with George Pickens. And he became the focal point of the entire offense. Mason Rudolph was throwing it to him in ways that Matt Canada could never think of or he didn't want to think about it. 
Do you realize that in the first two games against the Bengals in Week 16 and then the week later against the Seahawks on New Year's Eve, in those first two games, George Pickens had 195 yards receiving and 131 yards receiving in back-to-back weeks. That's incredible right there enough. But I have to say his most impressive one that really showcased the type of player that he is came in Week 17 against the Baltimore Ravens where the Steelers clinched a playoff spot. And when you look at it, no catches on no targets. First of all, the weather was a big factor in that game as well. It was a monsoon in Baltimore. I mean, any football fan who sat down and watched that game on that Saturday night knew that the weather was going to be tough to play in. But that wasn't the whole thing for why George Pickens had zero catches on zero targets. Why? Because John Harbaugh knew that he was a big playmaker, and they knew, well, he instinctively assumed that, hey, this guy's a big playmaker. This guy can run slants. This guy is explosive, and he can burn our secondary. We got to put do- we got to put two guys up on him, and we got to double team him the whole game. The Steelers knew that John Harbaugh was going to do that, and guess what? John Harbaugh took the bait. He had two guys going up against him every game. And what did the Steelers do in response? Ran the ball. Najee Harris went off. Jalen Warren went off. And they had George Pickens be a blocker. And he blocked that entire game and pushed around Baltimore's defense the entire game, basically using George Pickens in the way that Darnell Washington should be being used for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So yes, he didn't have a catch. He didn't even have a target. But that was the game that showed the kind of player that George Pickens truly is. That's a sign of maturity. That's a sign of growth. And that's a sign of accepting, hey, yes, I'm the best receiver on this team, but I'm not going to get every single catch my way. And I think George Pickens, I think he's come to accept that finally because he is still a kid. He's still young. You understand that a young guy like him, he wants to be the star on the team. And maybe I overreacted when he wasn't getting any, when he uh, made those comments or he threw that hissy fit or whatever. But I'm telling you, it looks like that he's matured and he really is a very important, if not the most important part of this Steeler team going forward. And I think George Pickens is primed to have a breakout year this year because now he has a real offensive coordinator in Arthur Smith, and now he has an experienced veteran quarterback in Russell Wilson. And if Russell Wilson should flame out, he's got a young quarterback to work with him as well in Justin Fields. If there's anyone on this offense that's primed for a breakout season, I think you're looking at it with George Pickens right here. He has the maturity. He has the physicality. He has the playmaking ability. And now he has a clean slate. And I'm excited to see it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm Mac checking on out for the day. Have a good one, everybody.